This is a ClO2 Lewis structure, chlorine dioxide. For chlorine dioxide, we have a total of 19 valence electrons. It's a little bit strange to have an odd number of valence electrons, but that's the case with the ClO2 Lewis structure. Chlorine is the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center, and we'll put the oxygens on the outside. We'll put two electrons between the oxygen and the chlorine, form chemical bonds. We've used four valence electrons, then around the oxygens. So we have two, four, six, eight, and 16, back to the central chlorine. 18, we have one more, remember we have 19, and we're just going to put that right there. So the oxygens have octets, but the chlorine only has seven valence electrons. It's kind of strange to have that one valence electron there, so we really need to check our formal charges to see if this is the best Lewis structure for ClO2. For the chlorine, we have seven valence electrons for chlorine on the periodic table, minus non-bonding, so we have two, three non-bonding, minus the bonding valence electrons. We have two, four of those, but we're going to divide that by two, and that gives us a total of plus two. That's the formal charge on the chlorine. Now let's do the oxygen. We only need to do one since they're both symmetrical. So for the oxygen, on the periodic table, oxygen is in group six or 16. It has six valence electrons. Non-bonding, we can see that those are these right here, six minus our bonding. These two right here are involved in a bond. So two, we'll divide it by two, and that gives us a negative one. That's the formal charge for this oxygen here. This oxygen over here will be negative one as well. So our total charge is zero, but we have this plus two on the chlorine and these negative ones. With formal charges, we want them to be as close to zero as possible. That'll give us the most likely Lewis structure for ClO2. So let's see what we can do. I know that I can take two valence electrons from the oxygen and share them with the chlorine to form a double bond, and that'll reduce the formal charge on the oxygen and the chlorine. So now we have a formal charge of zero on this oxygen, where it was negative one, and the chlorine's a plus one, so we're pretty close. Let's form a double bond with this other oxygen over here. So now I've formed this double bond, the formal charge in this oxygen is zero, and the formal charge on the chlorine is now zero. So all of the formal charges are zero with these double bonds between the chlorines and the oxygens. That makes this the best Lewis structure for ClO2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.